Welcome, welcome to Files by Francesca. This is where you follow me on my nail journey, where I do my nails at home. I am not a professional. I am just a nail enthusiast who loves everything about nails. I am still learning and would love for everyone watching to learn with me. However, today is just a simple unboxing of nail products that I purchased from Timu. I found so many amazing products on Timu that were so cheap and affordable and the quality looks great. So let's just jump straight into it. The first product that I'm pulling out of the bag is a 3D floral nail art charm. They're acrylic. Um, they come with the small gold beads. Uh, I think I purchased two of these, uh, but the one I pulled out first is a combination of blue, black, red, purple, pink, and white. The flowers are super cute. These gold beads, uh, you would place them in the middle of the flower. And, oh, it looks like I have a, a heart in there uh, by mistake, but they're super cute and I just had to grab these. Uh, next are these uh, UV gloves. They have them in two sizes. They're not large, small. It's um, the sizes are short and long. Um, I believe they have different colors. I think it was black and white, but I chose the black ones. Uh, it's not silk, but it, it has like a satin feel uh, to it. Here, I'm just trying them on. Some of uh, the fingers are a little long, so I'm just adjusting it to uh, the size of my fingers, which I don't think is a huge problem. It's easy to adjust and you just put it on. But this supposedly helps with um, stopping the UV rays and it, it just protects your skin. I see nothing wrong with having like an extra layer uh, of protection for your skin and for the price, you can't beat it. Next up is a tube of uh, adhesive gel. This is from Miss Cheering. It was $2.24. Uh, you use this in lieu of uh, like, the base nail glue, like base nail polish uh, for the full cover tips. It's, it's hard gel. It's something you would like scoop on the nail and, you know, just place on your, your natural nail and it acts like a glue. I thought this was cool because I usually use the, the nail gel that comes out of like a regular nail polish bottle and it's soft. So I thought that this would be easier to use because it was um, hard. I felt like it would stay in place easier. Uh, so we have this nail dial next. It's an acrylic nail clipper. I originally thought it was to uh, help with the size of uh, the nail tips, but it just cuts the nail tip to certain uh, sizes if it's round, angular, or straight. Uh, but I wanted it to be one of those where you put the little dial in and each nail would be the same size. But, you know, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, next up is this uh nail practice mat i when i purchased it i believe it was four dollars and four cents unfortunately it's no longer available on timu uh, it's it's been discontinued but it's for acrylic it's to help you practice on your um monomer to acrylic ratio and you know the beads so on the top, it has the circles for making large beads, medium beads, small beads. 
And in the middle section, it shows you steps on how to apply the acrylic from section one, two, three, and four. On the bottom, it has the different shapes of the nails, you know, the almond, oval, square ovals, just the shapes. Uh, and at the bottom, it has um, like stars, squares that you could practice on also. So here we have a 50 piece uh, mini colorful um, nails, nail file um, squares. Um, I chose the one that uh, was different colors, but they have uh, just all one color if you do want. All right, let's speed up. 3D artificial nail rhinestones. Uh, they have 12 different colors uh, available. They do not sell it all. They, they do not sell all 12 colors in one bundle pack. You have to purchase each color separately, um, which I had no problem doing because the price was super low. Um, the colors were cute. The diamonds, the roses were super cute and they were 89 cents each. So they have like, you know, the circles, the squares, the rhinestones, um, Right now on the screen, I have the black, the blue. Um, it looks like a pink, red, uh, gray, and green. I Like I said, I purchased all of the colors. So next is the purple. It has that pretty sheen, ivory sheen to it. Oh, that navy blue is gorgeous. Uh, gold, that's their version of gold. Uh, this is just some light pinks and whites. Uh, and this is the gray. I said gray earlier, but I think that was like a, a brown uh, down there. On the screen right now, there's only 11. I, I pull out the 12th one later on, uh, but I did purchase 12. So here are the cotton swabs uh, with wooden handles. Uh, they have, they, they have them in a pack of 100, 200, or 300. And I chose the option of 300 swabs. And I just use those to clean up the cuticle whenever I'm using nail polish or, or whatever. But that's what I choose to use it for. Oh, this right here, I fell in love with this 12 piece luminous nail powder. Um, once it's put under a UV light or any daylight, sunlight, it's supposed to glow in the dark. Now, this is coming straight out of the packaging, the, the bag, the Timu bag, the shipping bag. And with just a little bit of the lights from the room, some of the colors um, charged up. And well, well only like the, the green one uh, has some glow to it. But once you put this on your nail, you um, put that under that UV light. These are going to have such a beautiful glow. Um, so I'm super excited, uh, for these powders and the colors are so vibrant. Uh, so whatever design that I decide to make, it's going to be gorgeous. So here is a 12 grid. Uh, the color is AB sparkling, uh, rhinestones. I chose this one because of the different uh, shapes. So it has diamonds, this like oblong um, raindrop size, moons, hearts, and you know, the regular large uh, circles, medium, small, and to the, the super tiny ones. But there's just something about that AB color that I love because it's so colorful. It's not that just, it's just not that white uh, rhinestone color. I like that it, when it hits the light, it um, changes color, like a rainbow looking type of color. So here is, this was advertised as a cuticle scissors or like a nail clipper, but 
once I opened this up and I saw the shape of the clipper, uh, it was it was rounded with the the hook going down for some reason. It should have been um, curved the other way. There's no way I'm going to be able to get super close up on some cuticles uh, to cut anything. So this purchase uh, was a dud. Uh, probably will just cut nails with it, but it's uh, it's not going to be uh, for cuticle cutting. All right, so next up we have the Mowbray, excuse me, Mowbray uh, Polygel Extensions. These were a dollar thirty. 34 cents each. I purchased four of them, but I think there were at least 10 different colors. I chose all of the uh, glitters. I'm just in love with glitter. Uh, so this is uh, color, what well, it says one. So it's just, look at that shine, that glitter. It's white, silvery. Um, right. Here is number four. It's like a baby blue. It reminds me of seawater. It's super pretty. That if I'm trying to get it focused, but look at that glitter. Look how that blue shines. I just can't wait to do some uh, designs with these poly gels. Here is the me comparing the colors. Number five is it's more shimmery or has like an iridescent to it. It's more white, and the other one is like a darker silvery glitter. Um, next we have the pink. My favorite color is pink, and I just love this one. Looks like diamonds. So this was a great purchase. So like I said, they had other colors and these were just the ones that I chose. All right, so I purchased a lot of nail polish, but every single one, um, they were thermal, I believe. So next are the Miss Cheering Thermal uh, Gel Polish. I love this packaging. They really put some thought into this packaging. Uh, that iridescent uh, rainbow glow is gorgeous. So I purchased the uh, pink green and purple. Look at that pink. It's like you're looking at a pink sky of just stars. <laughs> it's just something about glitter that I love. I just love glitter. So that is the pink. The green I can't see the number right now, but I'll put it on the screen later. That green, look at all of that glitter. It's shimmering. It's gorgeous. So I purchased three of those. Next, I'm going to separate uh, the name brands. I purchased three different name brands. The first one was the Miss Cheering. Uh, the next is this MTSSI. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be pronounced uh, Mitzi, 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 but it's I, I, it's Miss Cheering, Mitzi, and I believe. Uh, the other one, I can't remember. It'll come up. But here's the thermal 
um, another thermal nail polish. This doesn't have glitter, but it has gold foil flakes in them. And I thought that was cool and different. Um, so I have up on the screen where DC-128 and DC-127, uh, it looks like they're the same nail polish, but they are different. Where 28 goes from pink, blue to purple, and 27 goes to pink, purple to blue. So what I noticed about these polishes, whatever the middle color is, is what will um, be the main color when you open up the bottles. So if if, if blue is the middle color, uh, that's what the nail polish will start out as. Um, pink will be, uh, I believe, the coldest, and then over to the right will be um oh wait it said 40 to zero okay so pink is the hottest or the left color is the hottest and the right side color is when you're the coldest so look at that beautiful uh dark pink you can really see the gold foil coming out on these nail polishes this one is a light pink to a red to a, like a maroonish color these were a dollar and 34 cents each look at how pretty that is i can't wait to swatch these for you for you guys so what i've shown you so far is dc 127 dc 128 dc uh, 129 dc 130 this one here is dc 131 where it's that beautiful yellow to orange to like a really dark uh, red. These bottles are seven milliliters. You're not going to get much out of these bottles. They're not like a full size uh, nail polish bottle, but for the effect, that color changing effect with the gold foil, I think you're getting your money's worth. So here we have DC 129. I think I said that earlier, so I, I, I guess I messed up 129 with 132. But look at this baby blue uh, to pink and purple. On it, or baby blue to purple and pink. <laughs> so I picked this one up because it kind of looked like they were the same, but obviously uh, they're not. I chose every single uh, thermal polish that they had. I purchased all of them. Is this something about thermal that I am in love with? And this was different because I like to purchase uh, the polishes that have the glitter in it because I love glitter and these had the gold foil in it. So let's put that to the side. And the next um, brand that I chose is Meat Across. Now these, I believe, are thermal also, if not, if not thermal, uh, they have like a um, holographic feel to it. Some of them will change depending on the light. Oh, well, I, I guess I forgot to tell you uh, how, what colors these change. I guess I picked these back up, the mist cheering. So this one changes to like a dark green to a blue to a black. And then uh, this one turns to a purple, a light pink, and then a dark pink. Um, and the next one is a uh, light pink, a darker, not light pink, a <laughs> light purple uh, to a darker purple to a super, super dark purple. I just had to mention that. I don't think I said that earlier. So back to these meat across look at this it has like a starry glitter and um it says 90 cat eye effect but it has that um luminous feel with the reflective uh glitter depending on what light you put it under it'll turn super reflective and look at 
this color, this gold. You see some orange, a little red, depending. Oh, and green. I don't know if you saw that just now. Depending on, you know, how you move move the color and what light you're under, it's gonna. So it's not thermal. It's just um, what was the word? Luminous. <laughs> holographic it's like a holographic color that that changes depending on the light so i have it in purple gold um this blue look at that you can you see how it changes from blue to purple and the glitter is just so nice I'm trying to get it in focus here, but I think I saw green in there too on the bottle, but I don't, yeah, see, it's green. So my eyes were not playing tricks on me. So it's like a green, a blue and purple that you'll see depending on the lighting. Let's see, this one looks like gray, green, uh red well the bottle doesn't have any green on it but i guess my eyes are playing tricks on me with that one so we have dt68 dt69 dt71 dt70 and the one i have in my hand right now if i can see dt67 and this one is has like orange green yellow i can't wait to use these Let's see if we can see all of the colors once I put it up to the camera. All right, so I see green. I see some yellow. I don't really see any of the orange. But hopefully we'll get to see them once I get um, time to swatch them. So I have five of the Meet Across nail polishes where it's the holographic glitter and reflective glitter. These are also uh, seven milliliters. Alrighty, next up, we have some acrylic powder. I bought three of these. Uh, this is Rick, I'm gonna butcher this, Rick Conca, <laughs> Rick Conca. Uh, acrylic powder. I just had to get these because of the glitter. The great thing about these acrylic powders, it is not only acrylic powder, it is dipping powder also. Um, so you can use this with monomer and you can also use this uh, with a dipping nail polish uh, to get this on your nails. Look at that baby blue. You have all of the tiny glitters, medium, large glitters. There is so much glitter in this acrylic. It is just gorgeous. So I have that in blue. I believe the number on that was uh, seven. This pink, the number on that is five. All right, let's put this up to the camera. Oof. And it's like a neon pink. Uh, some of the glitters look like it's reflecting uh, blue. I don't know if you guys see that. Like, well, well let's say purple. It has like a purple reflect uh, reflection on the glitter. Next, we have a yellow. The number on that was two. This is giving me like yellow green. So yeah, it has like green glitter in there uh, with the, the yellow. Not sure how that's going to swatch, but it's definitely yellow and green in that uh, acrylic powder. So again, we have two for the yellow, five for the pink, and seven for the blue. It is acrylic powder and dipping powder at the same time.
All right. And let's just put that over to the side. And next up. So. Uh, more adhesive gel. So I wanted to try um, the adhesive gel that's in a tube and also one that is in a, um, oh, I'm having a brain fart right now, uh, a, a container. You guys know, you see what I'm talking about. So this, these foils on top of these gels always give me a hard time. And I don't like ripping um, the foil in like the middle. So I will try my darndest to peel it up without breaking anything. So as you can see, I'm trying to move um, the tub around to see the viscosity see if it moves and that sucker did not move at all it is hard gel hard glue however that entered that that tub it's how it stayed if i put that sucker upside down it wasn't going anywhere so this is going to be great for scooping that out sticking that on that um full cover nail tip in uh putting it under that uv light and and that nail is not going anywhere i was holding my hand in a circle earlier because it's much bigger than what i thought it was going to be so it's 15 grams i was expecting one of the little smaller uh containers but i am delightfully um surprised that it's much bigger than what i thought it was going to be so I told you guys earlier in a video that I did pull out the 12th um, tube of diamond slash uh, roses uh, later on in the video. And here it is. Uh, I have these two pinks, but they are definitely different. I'm going to pull it out and show you that one. It has like a satin feel to it where the other one is a little bit brighter. And it looks more matte uh, than the other one. So one is like satin and the other is matte. But the colors are definitely different. But look how gorgeous this is. So again, we have like pearls and rectangle diamonds in there and circles and I just had to have every single color because it was so pretty. Uh, it looks like I have another um, adhesive uh, glue that's hard gel in the tube. The difference between uh, this one and the first one that I pulled out is the color. So the first one is clear where this one is pink. These are 15 milliliter um, tubes. It is, a, it's harder. I feel like it's harder than poly gel, uh, but it gives that poly gel feel to it. So I would use um, the pink for like more of a natural looking nail if you want to put that full cover um, tip on but you want the nail bed to be super pink i would use this gel over the clear gel so here i am just opening that back up again Again, this is the Miss Cheering Adhesive um, Glue Gel. They're both solid. One is pink, one is clear. So these stickers, it says 55P St. Patrick Day Blooming Floral Leafy Nail Stickers. It says stickers. But once I open these up, you'll see later on where I tried to peel up the sticker and I was not successful. 
So I'm thinking that these are water decals. Um, I'm not going to be sure until I actually test these and use these. But here I am trying to peel off uh, the sticker. But yeah, it wasn't working. So my hunch is it's uh, water decals. Either way, 55 pieces for the price that I purchased them at, you can't beat it. All of the flowers were super pretty. Some had silver glitter, some had gold glitter. And the colors were so vibrant. These were $2.00 and six cents 55 sheets of stickers or water decals for two dollars and sixty cents you cannot beat that team you are outdoing yourself so here these are definitely stickers uh this is 30 sheets of nail stickers it says 3d nail stickers because they kind of are raised stickers they're not super flat they have um, like texture to them. These were $2.24 for 30 sheets. I've never gotten uh, stickers where they were all attached like this. Uh, I thought it would be, you know, separate sheets of stickers. So this was um, different for me. I'm surprised I was able to fold that back up to how it was when I took it out of the package. But these flowers are so pretty. The colors are vibrant. I love that the background is clear so it will uh, mesh into whatever color or nail design that you have. It doesn't have that white background. Here is the second set of 3D floral um, acrylic rhinestone um, that I purchased. This one has pink flowers and white flowers. Um, this, the difference between this one and the other one is instead of all gold beads, this one has silver beads and some have clear beads, but the first one that I purchased has all gold beads. So you're getting variety. Over to that top corner, you have like an AB color um, bead in there. So next are some leaf print fake nails, some full cover uh, nails. I fell in love with this like peach color and the design was super super cute it's just fruits with um some leaves get you some press on nails on the day where you're feeling lazy and you just want to throw something on all oh, these lemon press on nails i could not leave them again these are from the same seller and they have the two options of the lemon and the floral they were both 89 cents. You can't beat <laughs> some press on nails for 89 cents. You can't beat that. And the designs are super nice, precise, and beautiful. 89 cents each. I had to purchase it just to try it. Uh, so last but not least, we have a um, bit holder that holds 25 bits. On here, it states that it has black, silver, pink, and gold. But when I purchased it, they only had two um, options, which was a silver and uh, I believe it was black. And I chose the silver. Um, the packaging was nice. There were no dents. The only issue that I had with this um, 
drill bit organizer is I'm not sure if this was done on purpose, but the holes are so small and tight. Uh, to look, as soon as I opened it, there was some debris and dirt in there. So I, I took the whole block out to see where it was coming from because it was completely closed. So it has like this cardboard uh, inside. So some of the cardboard uh, got through the holes and that's what's um, on the black foam. But as you can see, the holes on this foam are kind of small. And you'll see me struggling a little bit, um, trying to put some of these nail bits in. But what I did to remedy the issue is once I got off of camera, I took one of the rounded bits and I just forced that bit into every single hole. And once I did that, it was so much easier for me to um, place the bits in. And now I have no issues, but I literally had to poke every single hole um, to make it um, bigger than what it is. Um, let's see if I, I can, you can see the difference when I pull one of the other uh, bits out. So here you can see how the bits where I place into the foam, they're much larger than the other holes in the foam. So that exactly is the bit that I, I use to um, make the other holes bigger. This, this held every single one of my nail bits that I have. This, this little container holds 25 drill bits. For $7, you cannot beat that. And the design is so cool. Because it has that clear glass at the top, you'll be able to see all of your bits right away. You open it up, you choose what bit uh, you wanna use. And I just love the design, I really do. That dust did come off once I um, did poke every single hole. I just uh, blew it and it was all clean. But yeah, here you can see me trying to make the holes bigger. <laughs> but that wasn't an issue because I know that once I put those bits in there, they're not going to move. They're not going anywhere. Once they're in, they're in. So that was just one set that I put in, but I think I had four other sets that I needed to put in. Here, I'm just pulling that plastic off. I don't know what it is about pulling plastic off of uh, new things. It's just so satisfying. The gorgeous silver is the way to go. So guys, that is it. That is my full Timu haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. Hit that notification.